All right, so let's move on to break this up a little bit more. Uh, the idea is simple. Use region map and use new hair guides to create smaller regions of hair that is separated from others. For example, I want the front to have maybe one little cluster or clump of hair that is separated from others and going down this way. Right. To do so, I need to first of all go to my region map. So I'm going to go maybe uh, open the guide, right? So I'm go to the guide and go to region map. And I'm going to go pick a different color now, this time maybe a uh, green one and hit OK. And then I can add maybe this area to be a separate region. Right? Now they're going out like this. Okay. Now I need to place the guide here to get them where to go. So back to the in guide. Press Q button to, to get out of the painting. So I'm gonna go to the in, in the guide, actually the the base of the guide. There is this place brush, and that's gonna allow me to place one there. Just click, as you can see, it's being placed. Now, uh, when I place those, they're they're gonna be interpolated with other guides that is already there. If you don't want that, you can of course turn off the interpolation here. Now, if you click, you're just getting that. Okay. Now that's my new hair strands that I can use, use this, this particular guide to tell them where to go. So I'm gonna go use my comb brush again. Make sure that I freeze. Let me unfreeze all these guys. Turn on the sculpting here, of course. <laughs> unfreeze these guys and freeze this guy. I'm gonna go for a comb. Now I have the ability to define just one extra layer, or sorry, extra uh, cluster of hair to go to the directions that I want them to go. Now you probably is noticing the lagging, so that's something I probably should actually fix uh, or not do, <laughs> which is uh, the density I did last time. I added the density to be twice as much. That's gonna slow down my system a little bit. Okay. Now it's also because I'm running something on the background too, so it's a little slow. Uh, this is supposed to be better. Right. So that's how you actually define extra separated hair strands or hair groups. Okay. So now I have this one extra hair group. This is really separated and you can see how flexible now you can really make your hair system looks like by doing all these cool things. Uh, smaller, you know, separate hair uh, hair groups to really define the contour of the hair. Okay. Now the performance is quite low. I don't like that, <laughs> so I'm gonna go to the uh, the hair. First of all, change the width scale back to point one point zero five. Right, that's the setting before and have lesser hairs by going to the hair biz and tell them to be lesser so that I can really deal with or have better performance. I can see it's a little faster. Still a little bit slow. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe I'm still the thing I'm running on the background is really slow. So really taking up my performance. Alright, so I think I like that. I can keep adding. I can make exist existing ones separated too. Like for example, this one I kind of want it to be separated. Can do the same thing. Just go to the guide, go to density. Let's click on the pen. And then I can pick just another different color blue. Oh, blue, I have, I have used blue already, so let me use orange this time. Pin out this area, and then I can go ahead and use my frizz, frizz to frizz this, this little hair strand. Let me make sure that I unfreeze that I, that I, that I others and use the comb again. 
and I can comb this guy out so as you can see it's a separated strand now right. so I can, ha I can have something go out and do something just a little bit differently to break up the contour of the hair which is just an example I'm not sure I like it or not <laughs> anyway so you can use this right to add new hair systems uh, sorry new hair variations and before I wrap this up, one more thing I probably wanted to do shape-wise is that I can, uh, we can actually go ahead and do even detailed sculpting by actually go to this fixed layer that I added earlier to cut out my hairs. Right, I can add a new sculpt layer, this sculpt layer uh, two, and turn that on. Let me turn off the visibility of the guides. I can now really try to define hair one by one. Like I can go to the uh, comb brush go turn freeze and turn back freeze and freeze these guys right and I can really use the comb to comb now individual hair strands I, I don't like them to be wobbling around too much so I'm trying to make some variations but they probably will be because I have a noise on top of them so I cannot really avoid that by dragging these guys, but I can get rid of that noise I'm having on the base. Or if I don't, yeah, this noise is doing that little noise there, right? So you you, can, you kind of like want to think about the operation order. So the top guys will actually override or make changes to the bottom guys. The bottom guys will not be able to fix or clean up what's happening on the top. Okay, so I can really start to refine the hairstyle now. Like I think this is a little flat. I want something to go out at the bottom. I can of course do that now. I'll freeze that. I can freeze a few guys here. And then I can go use my comb brush and comb these guys out. I'm now really manipulating individual hair strands now. Okay. So that's all the techniques I think I need to introduce to you today about hair creation. And I hope that everything here works. So works for you, right? So I'm gonna go for a comb and just do a few more tweaks. And we're done with its hair shipping. Like I think that's going out too much. So I'm drag that. Oh, that's going in too much. Let me unfreeze that. So that's the final stage when you really wanted to dip in and do the variations. You actually work on the individual hair strands by creating a final fixed sculpt layer on the hair level and do that. All right, enough of that. I'm gonna go unfreeze everything. And then in the next one, we're going to talk about material setup and, you know, lighting, rendering, just a, a bit more with that. And then uh, we're done with the hair tutorial. Okay, see you next time.